video for um, I suppose it's a party look or going out for dinner look. Without lashes I think I'll be much more wearable but still there's a, a neutral defined crease and then I don't know if you can see but there's a silver line above um, where the liner is that adds kind of a pop of shimmer and interest and I think it really accentuates the eyes really nicely and then on the lips I just have kind of a dark sparkly gloss to go with my um, outfit today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really, really sorry about the drilling outside because they're replacing my water mains and there they go again. It's driving me crazy. They wake me up at 8 o'clock in the morning, but this is nothing I can do. So thank you so much for all those people who have recently subscribed and all my subscribers in the past. I am going to be doing a giveaway or a competition and um, something easy that you don't have to make a video for. Um, just like, you know, enter something in the comments because I know there's a lot of you guys who couldn't enter last time because you can't make videos for my competition. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned, lots of exciting stuff coming up and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Welcome back and let's get started with the look. So, on this eye, I already have a bit of Urban Decay's Primer Potion and after that, I'm just going to even out the colouring with Max Painty Paint Pot. I find that these do work well as a primer, but I think I'm going to be wearing this look for a while as I'm going out to dinner and I'm travelling up on the train, so I need some extra protection to ensure that there's no creasing or any colour transfer or anything like that. So once you have that all over, you can even put a tiny bit underneath your eye just to prime it and even out that skin tone. This colour is the perfect base for the eyeshadow that we're going to use in our lid, which is Max Vanilla Eyeshadow. It's just a matte, creamy colour. You can use any kind of creamy white colour that you wish. And all we're going to do is just pat that all over our lid. So once you've got that all over the eyelid, let me just zoom you in a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to start building up that crease. Even though you look at this eye and you think, oh, the crease is just black or grey. You want it to blend in really nicely. So I'm going to start off with using my favourite kind of blending colour which is Wedge. It's a very light brown and I'm just going to get this on a 226 brush just on the end, the pointy end. Load it up on there and then we're going to start defining our crease this way. When we go in with the dark greys, we're already going to know where to put it and it's going to blend out much quicker. So this is just our look base colour to define the area that we want for our cut crease. It's much easier if you tip your head back and then you can see the little dent in there. And just go along that and also on the outer V and you can even go underneath your eye a little bit. Just using that pointy tip of the brush, you don't want to make the line too thick. Now what I'm going to do is using the side of the brush just to feather it upwards towards the brow. And the drilling starts again. I'm very, very sorry guys. The next colour I'm going to use is Sneen and it's a very light grey colour. And we're basically going to do the same as with Wedge. Here it is, I'm just a bit blue on the screen, but it's just a very light matte grey. With the same brush I'm just getting it on the tip of that brush, snapping away any extra. And I'm just going to, my camera to focus, place that right along my crease line and just go backwards and forwards very gently. You just want the tip of the brush barely touching your eye so that the pointy part can really define that line and the outer V as well. And then you're going to start pressing a little bit harder. So when you press harder, the bristles are going to fan out and the whole area of the brush increases so you start blending more. So this look is pretty simple but it just takes a little bit of time to blend all the colours like so. You can see it fades really nicely. The next colour I'm going to use is print and this is a very dark grey here and it's also matte. The reason I'm keeping most of my colours matte is because I'm going to add the silver line here know how well you'll be able to see it above my eyeliner and I want that to be the focus and the shimmer. 
And once again, we're just going in really lightly, barely touching the skin, the tip of the brush. I'm doing the outline of the crease. And then we're going to blend it up a little. Not too much, we don't want to make it too dark. So we're just going to blend it exactly up. I'm going to get the lower lash line as well. We want to connect the look, so it's just one seamless transition. And then I'm going to take the 217 and blend in, blend, blend, blend. <laughs> really make sure you feather out those edges. And we're pretty much done with the eyeshadow. All we have to do now is just add a highlighter. And for this, I'm just going to use a little bit of fleece because you can get away with some shimmer today. Just right under the brow bone here. And blend it. Now what we're going to do is do our eyeliner. The first thing I'm going to do is just take a coal and contour pencil from Bourjois. And this is in silver. And I'm just going to go in the inner tear duct here and create a little highlight. And then I'm going to go below as well, below the lash line, just a little bit. Then, if you have a silver gel liner, I would recommend you use it. Since I don't, I'm going to make my own using Max Mixing Medium and Silver Eyeshadow. So I've just made that gel liner on the back of my hand here. And using a little low, low liner brush, I'm going to line my eye with that silver colour. Just a little bit. We want this to be quite a thick line because underneath it we are going to be lining with the black. So the silver above the black will just give it that little pop of shimmer and make it look a little more interesting because the rest of it is pretty neutral. Of course you can do any kind of liner. A light coloured liner works the best because it really stands out against the black. But any kind of liner, um, shimmery for example, white or light greens or even light baby blues work really well. So we have our line there. It's pretty thick but we're going to be covering it most of it with a black liner. And after that I'm just taking a clean Lululemon brush, the same one, and I'm going to be using Max um, Black Track Gel Liner over the top. It's going to create a thin winged line here. I always find it so difficult to do on camera because first of all, I don't know if you guys noticed but my eyes aren't exactly even and second of all I can't quite get the right angle when I'm looking in the mirror so I end up going out of frame with the camera half the time so I'm really sorry it's just because I don't want to put myself in the eye And don't worry, some places you cover the silver a little bit more. Once you've got your lashes on, you really won't be able to tell. You're just going to see that little bit of shimmer above the black. Just like so. And now it's time to put on my mascara and my false lashes. So I will do that very quickly and be back to show you the final look. So now I have my mascara and lashes on. And today I use Lancome's Hypnose Mascara with Ardell Fashion Lashes. And these are number 117 black. And then for my lips, what I did was to tie again my dress, you can see the colour here, is use a NYX or NYX pencil in Cabaret. And it's a very dark kind of red. See it there. And I just outlined my lips with that and just took a lip brush and blended out the edges so it was still lighter in the middle but a bit of that dark burgundy colour was on the outside and then on top of that I just put MAC Dazzle Gloss Lip Gloss in Date Night and this is what I got so thank you so much for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed this clip see you all soon, bye